What are you, what are you about to do now? No, girl? his name CT is Kang versus CT is dope. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Why you didn't change yours? I just I didn't do it. I'm sorry. I got no, nah, go ahead and put your moniker up there that you just so <laughs> you so adamant about sharing right now. Go ahead and represent Captain <laughs> Key Lloyd. <laughs> Man, you come straight out of a con. That has traveled so far on yeah. on our on my Sways Universe um review. Somebody was in the comments like, "Hey, I'm just here to represent Captain Key Lloyd." I'm hey. Like, hey, man, the <laughs> dope ass name, man, and the power was dope. Cause when I throw it, it's Gambit's power. It's gonna explode. They're like grenades. Yo, my homie told me straight up. He was like, "Yo, I know that shit sounds silly." But that's the one that's gonna get the spin-off show on HBO yeah. Max. That's yeah. the one that's gonna be the fan favorite. Yeah. You can't you hit me as hard, hard as you want. The bigger the globs coming. <laughs> the bigger the globs. I hate that. <laughs> it's oh, visually it's disgusting. Arms up, visually oh. disgusting. Bro. Oh man. oh, man. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Stride of a Comic Book. You know the place where we come to be able to talk about all things in the blur culture for pop entertainment, movies, comic books, the whole shebang. And today is no different. Um, I do have to represent uh, my boy CT over there, man. We both power range it out today. You already I just know. To take that notice. <laughs> I see you over there with the Team CT, man. And, of course, we got the Council of Deuces with us. And, of course, Captain Key Lloyd Captain himself, Key Lloyd. Mr. Dion Lack. It's going to gonna grow on you, if you will. Ugh, uh, I hate that. <laughs> What's dangling? <laughs> Ew. Ew. Ugh. <laughs> this is why we need you here. This will happen when you're not here. I, I, I see it now. <laughs> we let Dion run around a little oh. bit and look what didn't happen. He's got a real water bottle this time, though. Like, you know, a lot of episodes we had, he had that. Oh, he brought. Oh, okay. Look, okay, great. Oh, alkaline, too. Okay. Yeah. Look Yo, at it. You got to survive out here, man. You got to cut a reel of just all, the evolution of Dion's water bottle. <laughs> man. Oh, man. From the simply lemonade to the <laughs> real water bottle, man. But, oh, um, man. Got my tax returns. We good. Hey, hey, I see you. Alkaline water. You living, baby. You living. But yes, we got a lot to talk about today. Um, of course, we are jumping into uh Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Letting you know now, this is a spoiler-filled episode. In case you heard that wrong, spoiler field, meaning we're gonna be talking about this movie. So if you would like to go to the other video, find out what Captain Key Lloyd is all about, along with Black Boom, Brainwave, and Masterworks. But from this point on. Spoilers is coming out. Yeah. And so with that said, though, before we jump into Ant-Man, I want to hit y'all with the hot topic because I want right. to get y'all opinion on this. Um, Kevin Feige has uh, announced that they are slowing down on the DC Plus shows. They said, man, we Marvel. Marvel. Oh, Marvel. Marvel. I'm sorry. Marvel. 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 Let me do that again. Kevin Feige. Uh, has mentioned that Marvel is going to be slowing down their um, TV series on Disney+. Plus. Uh, they said that they was just doling it out like blue magic, and so <laughs> now they want to be able to, you know, ease it back a little bit. We'll still be getting, uh, uh, so far it's been confirmed, it's Secret Invasion and Loki Season 2. Uh, no word on Moon Knight or the rest of the ones like Captain America and the Winter Soldier to see if they may get a season two as well as Miss Marvel. So I just want to get y'all opinion and we'll start with Deuce. Like, how do y'all feel about them slowing down on the Disney Plus series? My thing is that if they slow it down, I think just slow it down with the main characters. Uh, the great thing about having a show service or, you know, just producing shows is you're able to flesh out side characters who may not necessarily need to be on the big screen. Right. So I think where they sh or where they shot their load at or they, they, they did too much was that they were trying to figure out how to bring in the big names so many times. Like every show had to have that one like, oh, yeah, this is She-Hawk, but we also got Bruce. Oh, this is, you know, this is this show, but we also got this person. So if they're slowing it down based off of that, then I am 100% okay with it. What I hope they do is they transition to like, um, like the Okoye series. I'm okay with the Okoye series. I feel like that's not going to take away from the main cast of the Avengers and everything like that, right? So if, you, if you're doing shows like that, then I say don't slow those down, but stop trying to bring in the big names. 
Gotcha. Here's the thing. Even with that, I agree and disagree. One, we know that Captain America is going to be a film, so he's not getting a season two. But when we talk about the series of an Okoye, the only show that they dropped that did not have a big gun was Moon Knight. And that was incredible. For, it got a really slow start. Like, it didn't really pick up for me until episode three. But that was the only show. Everything else was like, hey, watch this show because we got some Avenger appearances. Hey, watch yeah. this show because we're going to show you this character. And it's like, fam, none of these characters are strong enough to stand on their own, so they don't need their own show. So when they were talking about the Echo series, that's the one I was dreading coming because I'm like, bro, nobody cares about her. We didn't care about her in the Hawkeye show because nobody really cared about the Hawkeye show. If we've been quite honest and yeah. you're going to give her a spinoff and she was the least likable character and you try to make her redeemable. If anything, when we go to the Okoye series, I love Okoye, but do I need to see a series with her? No. Now you're just throwing stuff against the wall. I would have preferred. And I think I don't know if I had this conversation with you guys or the members of team CT on my stream, but I would have preferred for them to do an anthology series on each black Panther. Yes. Oh, you know what I mean? True, yeah. That yeah. would have been dope. Like you go from, <laughs> the first Black Panther, and then you go to the next one, and none of them are related, you know, except them passing the baton. Yeah. That would have been a series I would have loved to see because it teaches you the history of Wakanda and the Black Panther instead of, yeah, so the bodyguard is no longer in the door of Malaje, and she's going off on her own. It's like, fam, so if you're telling me that you're slowing it down just to show us um, Secret Invasion and to show us Loki Season 2, great. Because these two series, one popped, and the other one, people are just excited to see who were scrolls. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I think we're missing. I, I would love to have a Wakanda series because it, they're, 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 it's a it's a council of people that they need to unpack. Pretty much, the, the second movie was a Wakanda series, and if they had really like slowed down, that would be a dope ass series uh, because each each tribe is a story. Mm. Yeah. And just, and yeah, just to kind of like stay there in one episode to kind of see, you know, who's gonna be the next king or something like that. We don't like uh, uh, Shiri as the queen, you know. I don't know something, some some sort of because everything can be unpacked. Another series that I would love to see since we've already unpacked, uh, we're talking about it. Quantum, uh, Quantum Mania, like that right? They have so many worlds in there oh, yeah. that you mm -hmm. know it, it'd be nice to see when Ash Kane came in there and seeing. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Janet, you know, there's, you know, all the the, the relationship, the rebellion you know, and everything Bill like Murray. that. Yeah. It was, it was so much. I'm like, dude, this they, they're trying to build a world here. This could be the new Star Wars, pretty much. So, yeah. so I was like, I think I really think that'd be a dope little series to kind of because they can flush out how how he built his his empire and and I don't know. It, it's so they much definitely could have shown it. They could have shown yeah. and not to jump ahead at all. But sure. just to say that one sentence, they could have shown how he started to conquer the yeah. quantum realm. And it was a throwaway line when they said, yeah, the quantum realm exists of several, several different worlds. And you Man. didn't show us any of them. None of them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think. But I even think to piggyback on CT's point, like quantum, the quantum realm will be great as an anthology, telling it from different stories, because we saw so many yeah. different tribes, so many different sections. I think that would make a good series. I think they need to try to find more of a balance of like how you how you even say CT. I don't need to see a Koye get her own show, but I wouldn't mind seeing a show about Wakanda and seeing where that goes to be like maybe some Game of Thrones type mm -hmm. of thing. Also, too, I think even for like how you say CT with Echo, I don't want to see an Echo show, but I wouldn't mind them doing more of the Marvel presentations mm -hmm. to give her like a 45 minute little thing for me to see. Yeah. Oh, OK, this is this is why you want us to see this. And that possibly shows Kingpin and ties into the Daredevil series. Mm -hmm. It's like, OK, I see you giving me these little pieces like you did with Guardians of the Galaxy. Like mm -hmm. y'all let us know a lot of stuff that's coming forward. Like they got a new ship. Um, they own nowhere now. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, groups a little bit older. So it's like you give us those pieces instead of giving us eight episodes with like how CT said, you may have like a moon night where three episodes is slow and it picks up or three episodes is slow and it continues to stay slow. So, you I know, you find that balance. What what would be smart if they can. And I don't know how they accomplish this, but if they 
create a series where it is that one off where now not only just like doing like the Wakanda anthology series, but like if they had a series on Disney plus where it was like, okay, we got this character that we like, obviously they want us to be interested in echo. So instead of us giving us a full echo series within whatever series this is, you can give us an echo episode that really goes into everything about her and everything kind of like a one issue comic. Right. So it's like this episode or whatever this series is, is a one issue, one episode thing. We're going to get you into this character. But then the next episode may be somebody else in the Gardens of the Galaxy. It doesn't have to go chronologically in order, but it's, you know, what's wild this is, for that. This is what's wild. Will just said that, and you watched as he said that. <laughs> yeah, well, he, 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 he said that specifically about. Yeah, he said like, that specifically I'm about sorry. Echo and the door and and what and, I, was yeah. I feel like deuces be listening, like he be fucking just nodding his head to speak. He's like, okay, and then we go. Okay, good. I like that. Will you know what I would love to see? Is it really just a special? Like, no, I, feel like, I feel like this is a little bit different. I was, <laughs> All I was, was waiting for was Dion to say, you know what, Deuce? That's a good idea. That's a good idea, Deuce. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> you are a council of Deuces. The one in the top left corner is how you was listening to Will. <laughs> 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 that's crazy bro i was at first i was like okay cool he about to break character any second now and he kept going i was like oh oh here we are so, all right but here when we say the series i do love what was it called wolf werewolf by midnight or yeah. what was it yeah uh, yeah werewolf by midnight where a minute that was incredible because you introduced man thing which i think probably lit a uh, lit a fire under james gunn's ass but like hey all right we gotta drop swamp thing right now because they don't look like they're doing nothing with him <laughs> so so when you see where will by midnight the way it was presented was great the way it was advertised was incredible and it was a one-off and you showed us uh a different part of the darkness of marvel and i love that so if you do that with any character, this is what I don't agree with. Don't give us these lesser known characters unless they're part of your massive story, which I don't oh, think man. they are. Yeah. Give us the characters that are like, so if you don't want to do, first of all, Hawkeye should have been a one shot. That Give me two episodes of Hawkeye. You could have got the <laughs> exact same result. But if you're going to introduce a character where you're like, ah, we ain't got the budget for that for a couple of years, but we can do a quick two episode thing. Do the Nova Corps real fast. Fact Do the right. things that can help us move forward faster. You can't tell me you did a Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special with that budget, and you couldn't have done another Marvel property that we don't know about or that we are fans of that you just didn't have the massive budget to produce a film for. Yeah. What's bothering me right now is they had, I don't know, I'm just throwing out, they had 10 Disney Plus shows. Not one of these characters has popped up in any of these phases. Like, dude, are you are you you're setting us up for for us to be familiar with these characters, but like, let, nothing has connected. Like, you just well, you're well, setting like up it, so much shit that has not came up yet. Well, it looks so like we got to keep they, track of all this continuity. But it do look like they are doing that for this next phase because, like, the you marvels better. the marvels that are dropping in I think November because it got pushed from July. Like, they've already stated that like Miss Marvel is the 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 breakout character of that movie. So that poster will... is real, right? That's a yeah. Real the poster, poster is that's a real okay. poster. That I didn't they know, released, you know, um... maybe it'd be boss logic sometimes. I'm like, yeah, that... <laughs> right, <laughs> right. He's just like, yeah. well, I just threw this out here, and it's like, oh no. By the way, it's real. Like, what? Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> I have a question and I have a statement. Ant Man was the the first movie of Phase Five, right? Yes. Yeah. Will you told me before we even watched this movie? Hey man, my friend said this is about to be like an Avengers type movie. That is gonna be a bunch of shit that's gonna pop off. I was like, oh, oh! it yeah. was not, nigga. It was yeah. not. Yep. And with, I... that being, with that being said, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into our main topic of uh, <laughs> quantum midness. Because um, <laughs> it wasn't no quantum mania. But uh, I, no, we like, I was expecting to see flash, uh, like going back in time. I'm expecting <laughs> to see like little glimpses of like Avenger fights. I mean, I was like, we about to be all through this universe, boy. No, nah, when you yeah. see it, I get what they were saying. When you see it, I'm just like, oh, you mean the fight? 
that that's <laughs> that's what you were talking about. But we're gonna we're gonna get into that. So the way I want to break this down, so you know we're not all over the place, and you know we keep uh, some kind of you know structure. Uh, the way we're gonna talk about this is we're going to one, you know, just kind of give your overall opinion about it, not giving too many details away. We're gonna start off with that, and then we're gonna talk about the good, the bad, and the huh. <laughs> this, what's going on? Like, what's happening? So, um, I want to start off with you, CT. CT, give me your overall opinion on it, and like a scale from one to ten. What were you giving this movie after watching it? After watching it, I gave that movie a six, and the six came because I, you know, I stream on caffeine Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I often give spoiler reviews and i kind of went hard on it yesterday and i want to redeem that by saying it's still a six but i'm giving nothing but love to paul rudd because we all love paul rudd this was not his fault he is an actor he's a hired gun and you do what the studio asks you to do (laughs) i i read some information before the podcast today that revealed from one of the uh visual effects artists Mm -hmm. for marvel was like yo quantum mania didn't have the budget behind it because all the money went to black panther uh wakanda forever so that was the important thing and then when it came to ant-man they were just like uh here and exactly i was hurt to read that as well so when i when i saw the film i was like, all right, Will said it's going to be Avengers level. They also said Quantum Mania. The problem is these fucking titles. They keep giving us these titles. And you say Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> Quantum Mania. And it's yeah. like, it's not Mania, bro. It's Sania. This is what? the most normal situation anybody could be in. Yes, you built this new world, but you haven't. First of all, there were no stakes. You showed that there were no stakes. At the way that you got rid of Kang. And I know that they reshot the ending a month before they released it. Mm-hmm. So I wonder what the original ending was. But you showed us that there were no stakes. When you when you have Ant-Man and Wasp kill Kang. Okay, cool. Kang did. Then the next mid credit scene, you show a council of Kangs, which shows that what happens to this Kang is of no consequence. So this entire movie... <laughs> was pointless because you're in a quantum realm we don't know if he was down there how long because when he was down there in between infinity war and endgame he said i was down there for five minutes so it was five years for y'all so if you're down in the quantum realm and we're down here with you how long were you down there by the time you came back to the surface how much time has passed you haven't really interacted with anybody except for the baskin robbins dude um you know at the shop with the coffee and everything and the people walking down the street in large mind so that aspect then the daughter just magically has the suit and she oh yeah i got a suit by the way and it's like this is too convenient bro also the way they just got sucked in so you're telling me that y'all keep y'all suits on no matter what (laughs) because y'all at the crib chilling and y'all go y'all get sucked into the quantum realm and y'all three got y'all suits on okay if all three y'all got y'all suits on then the whole family got sucked in and michael douglas just magically keeps his earpiece in to talk to his aunt (laughs) And then Michelle Pfeiffer, I find it, I found it very hard to believe that Michelle Pfeiffer was back in the regular realm for uh ooh, she was there for over five years because years. you gotta remember she only years. uh Scott got sucked into the quantum realm and he was gone for five minutes. Everybody else was alive and well in the regular realm. So no, no, that, she blipped, she blipped, all three of them blipped. The Michelle Pfeiffer, you're right. Yeah, they yeah, disappeared. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So by the time she came back, she came back after Ant Man brought it back. Okay. Now, now I'll give them a pass. Because what I was gonna say was, there's no way you've been on, uh, you've been up there that whole time and didn't tell them about the quantum realm. But now that I realize it hadn't been that much time, I'll give her the pass on that. But go back to my point about the worlds. You say there are several worlds, but you only show us one. Even if you made it seem like. Ant Man and um his daughter were on a different world. You didn't explain the name of this particular world. Put that in the caption like they do when you're yeah. at the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. We're at nowhere. We're at this yeah. place. We're there. None of that happened. And then when I see Kane, I mean uh what's his name? Uh Modoc. I keep wanting to call him Craig because you know we watch turtles. But when I see Modoc, I was like, all right, this is a great helmet. When they lifted that fucking helmet, bro. 
See I say this shit looks like a horrible Photoshop job. <laughs> yeah. And that's what goes to what that visual effects artist yeah. said when he yeah. said all the money went to Wakanda forever because that looked so cheap. Yeah. And Modoc looked so on. small. Keep I'm like, come on, on man. Bro. Keep the also, mask on. Also, they messed up his chin. I'm like, where the chin at? They covered his chin on this. And I'm like, yeah, that don't make it no better. The but Modoc on Avengers looked better than the Modoc yeah. on Avengers. I'm talking about the video game. The Modoc yeah. on the Avengers video game was incredible compared mm -hmm. to this Modoc. And then for him to keep calling him Darren, they turned his character into another Plus comedy one. trope, just like yeah. Iron Man 3 in uh, Mandarin. The, mm -hmm. the claymation looked better. but uh, Oh, my God. Dion, I want to get your opinion. Uh, rated uh, one out of ten. What did you give it after seeing it? I feel like being the movie of Phase Five, it did not push nothing forward. We don't we don't need it at all, right? Only thing that it pretty much helped was the daughter. Like if that movie got removed from the Phase Five, everything is, is going to still move forward. Of course, they introduced Kane, but we saw it in Loki. Mm -hmm. uh, I guarantee if the next movie came out, nothing connected to this movie. So you will think, okay, we have 31 movies in, dude. We need we need appearances. We need to kind of feel like we got rewarded for watching this movie. Like somebody getting, dude, Ant-Man beat Kane, nigga. Yeah, that was my, yeah, that's my issue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's supposed to be the man. Yeah. Of course, he didn't have his suit. Ant Man didn't have his suit, but hand to hand, fist. fist. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, we I do have to make that clear. Kang can't fight. Let, what? Like we, yeah, like you have to know. Like Kang's a nerd. That's why he has all of that technology. No, like hand to hand, Kang can't really fight. That's why he got all of them powers. Because Kang like was bullied as a kid. Like Kang don't really have hands like that. That's why he started to learn all the stuff and take the technology you have, which makes it more understandable. Why, if you notice, hand to hand, he was fighting him. Power right. to power, Kang was kicking his ass. However, Scott Scott Lang, he ain't, he ain't a fighter either. He ain't got no hands. <laughs> so, hey, fight, hey, hey, Scott was in prison. Don't do that. I'm, I'm saying, saying I'm taking away his prison. Sentence. I'm just saying from. From strength alone, Jonathan Majors should have been able to beat Paul Rudd. <laughs> <laughs> From strength alone, this nigga out. and why trained him? Why trained him up real good? Bro, Kang in this version of Kang that fought Ant Man had hands because that fight looked like ooh, like ooh, he's about to kill Ant Man, hey. and we were prepared for that. And yeah. you know, yeah. Wasp came in with the with the one on one and the two on one advantage, and they knocked him to the thing, and he was gone. Dude, why yeah, was Kane so still there? He had the little ball. Leave, nigga. You was here too long. Leave. Get out of here. He was trying to take too much with him. Get out of here. He was. He was trying to. He was trying to take the squad with him. If he mm -hmm. would have did it by himself, it would have been in and out. But he was like, nah. I'm, I'm bringing <laughs> the was, niggas with me. We going. He was I'm acting like, like he, he was acting like Michael Keaton. He was acting like Michael Keaton in Spider Man. It was like, yo, let it go, let it go. You finna blow up. Like, nah, nah, I got it. Like, see, should have went by yourself. Also, Kang you know, had the worst henchmen in history, bro. It seemed like everybody was easily able to take it, them out, dog. Bro, bro. <laughs> but, but, Dion, what do you give it? A uh, one out of uh, one out of ten. Um, if this was just this movie, like I, I enjoyed it, but I hate that it's the thirty first movie. Um, and I feel like it didn't help at all. I, I would give it a four. Damn. Damn. I know. I know, but but it's it's part of a major franchise, man. You're right. Yeah. The third one should be the best. Yeah. But we see Thor. You know what? The only Avengers film that has gotten a third movie that was good was Captain America. And that's only because they made it Avengers level. Yeah. Iron Man 3 was not good. Uh, Thor 3 was not good. Um... Well, oh wait, Thor three was Ragnarok. Three was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two was okay, bad. so Four Thor three, yeah. Thor three, and Captain America three are the only two that have gotten the third movie that were Avengers good. Three. No, well, you can't count on Av Avengers is yeah. a big team up. I'm talking about solo films. Yeah, yeah, because they don't name it like sequels, like Avengers two, Secret Wars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, Deuce, what about you? What do you rate it? So I'm giving it a 6.5. Uh, a lot of the, th the the same gripes that CT had is the same that I had. Um, again, leaning in on the we we I think we theorized that um, Scott was going to die, right? And I feel like when we think when we think about the stakes here, 
what took away the stakes is here because we remember we theorized that we know that Kang is getting out. So, you know, Ant-Man must die. And, yeah. and that's going to make everybody really like, oh, shit, Kang yeah. is coming. So when they had him beat him, I was like, wait, what the fuck? Like, I was I, I was like, wait, this makes no sense because now I don't care, right? Right. Um, and then, like I said, Modoc, uh, when he came in with the mask, I was like, okay, they're not giving him the face, but that mask is beastie as a bitch. I fuck with it. But yeah. that, as soon as you saw that, the same... The same pissed off I was when we saw um, Heimdall's son and <laughs> Thor. That's how I was like, "What?" I was like, "I could have did this. I could have did this yeah. way better on my own." Like, like this was horrible. And I think that uh, watching the whole movie, I was good. Even like even when Modok came in, they, I was like, "All right, whatever. I get it." You know, what I'm saying I was okay with that, and I was okay with the pacing. There was little small things, but it was literally that that last act when Kane lost. I said that took away everything from the movie that that changed it from this being a 7 7.5 to a 6 6.5 hold on hold on let me add this. I, I just thought about this his powers worked inside the quantum realm like he can grow and shrink right it's weird mm -hmm. i know it's kind of weird so remember in the, in the first movie when he used a little chip to put it back in the thing he could have came out the quantum realm the same way right no no so that like they said that was a a one out of a million probability and you got to remember there's different spots in which he's at in the quantum realm that's even like the thing about like how ct was saying scott being trapped for five hours he wasn't technically in the quantum realm he was in a time vortex that's why time passed for him like that but no in the first movie no i'm saying I, i'm saying i'm trying to reach he was trying to grab it and he put it in his machine no that's what i'm saying that it was that was like a one out of billion phenomenon and he had again he wasn't technically in the realm that they were in the third one so we don't technically know what level he was at. Because you saw how far they had to travel yeah, into yeah. it. There's no telling where he had really stopped that to be able to pop back in. He there When you look at the movie, Kang could have just been transported somewhere else. He didn't have to die. Because at least that gives it like, damn, how he going to get out? Because yeah. we know he's getting out because they got a whole movie called Kang Dynasty. Right. Did they but confirm for them, they, Yeah, they confirmed it in the uh, post-credit sequence. When it was the mm -hmm. council... Of the damn kings. Well, yeah. I so I assume that they uh, and I, I get what you said. My what I what I took from that post credits because I thought that too at first, but then I started second guessing it after listening to all these theories that he he may be trapped within a a, um, a lower level of the quantum realm. But if, if the, I, I'm gonna trust the you way that. the whole the way the whole credit <laughs> sequence was set up is three of the major kings were mm -hmm. talking to each other and they were like, "He's dead," and you're just mad because you're not the one who killed him. I put the call out. He was like, how many did you call? And he's like, all of them. Yeah, okay. So yeah. that's mm -hmm. why the call came, because mm -hmm. that one uh, was killed by the hands of Ant-Man. So, but it also kind of gives them a way to make the other Kangs stronger, because if that Kang got killed by Ant-Man, then mm -hmm. the rest of them got to be so super strong that you need the rest of the Avengers. But the problem I'm realizing in saying this isn't the movie. The problem is us as a whole of comic book fans because we start creating these big ass goals and theories <laughs> for do. these movies. And, and to this day, <laughs> Feige has never validated any of our fucking theories, with the exception, <laughs> with the exception of Spider Man No Way Home. Spider Man No Way Home was the greatest um, Spider Man movie of all time. Because he gave us everything we wanted, which was both Spider Man. We got to see the Goblin. We got to see Doc. I, like it was incredible. The yeah. only outside of that, he's never validated our things. Like we were like, yeah, Iron Man this, oh, Iron Man that. Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four. He gave us that. <laughs> Who? Well, which one are you really, talking about? Because remember, we thought that we we we're going into a multiverse of madness. We had all these theories of the Illuminati, who's going to stay, how this is going to go, and then when they showed us it, we were like, "Oh shit, he's confirmed." And then immediately after, Feige was like, "Yeah, no, that was just for the movie. We didn't confirm." No, nah, but, but but he no. gave it to us though. Yeah, yeah oh, he but gave us that. Yeah, yeah, but he gave it to us. Though. So he oh, gave okay. us he gave us that cameo. He gave us Professor X. He gave us Monica Rambeau as Captain Marvel. Uh. No time Nobody cool really asked man. for uh, the Black Bolt guy, but we definitely got the conversation that they were like, yo, we wanted to have Tom Cruise, but schedules wouldn't align. So they would have given us all five cameos that we wanted. Then Spider-Man No Way Home. Other than that, 
every movie that comes out and we have these big theories and we have these expectations, he always fails us because we watch the movie and we're looking for the things that we created and it's not there. And we're like, we're judging it based off of what we created. Yeah. 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 That That's why I even had to say for myself, I had to go see it twice. Mm. And then once not I told that. No, I went, I, went, I went see it twice. I went see it twice because I was like, you know, I got to take it out of my head of what was told to us. And I was yeah. like, yeah, I definitely, uh, they, they had me too overhyped. But then when I went and saw it, I was like, um, I'm going to disagree with y'all, y'all. This movie was fly as fuck. I'm giving this shit still a 7.5. Explain. Eight. So there's so much, they put way too much that we miss in this because of what we were expecting and what i'm seeing that they set up is still there so it's not even the fact of them theorizing it it's even what they're talking about so i like of seeing this cane being killed because it still fulfills the story of what loki 2 is doing because don't forget they said a conqueror is the one that made that one timeline that is still the thing that's supposed to be happening and you just killed the one that was supposed to do that. And if yeah, and I know because y'all didn't see it a second time, but when Scott went back at the end, that timeline changed. Yeah, no, I, I saw that. All of, yeah. yeah, all of that stuff was different. So we don't know what the ramifications are from what happened in there. And well, I like oh, yeah, go ahead. Well, I was gonna say because like I, you know, it's the small things. I mean, I do like how they played around with the themes, right? Like, you know, like uh CT brought it up, like. The interaction that he had with you know the Baskin Robbins on like I mean the ice cream, uh, the coffee shop where they charged him instead of he knew who he was that was different he's looking you know the um but like I think um when they play around with the things they do subtle things like he had that horrible cake and that cake tasted nasty which is kind of more like okay shit ain't shit ain't good like whatever happened we don't know the like I said how what's going to transpire so like I do see what you're saying with that like they did play around with those themes they did bring it into it and, and the timeline is obviously different I think I don't know I mean I get I, I see the stuff that they set up I just like it they could have what to what Dion was saying is that this could have been set up in a different way like the, they took away all but, the stakes of this movie but, that but like do, if they moved this movie but here's, the, here, but here's the thing it's ant-man do you really need it so big because think about it think about his last two movies those aren't big stakes what was his first one he was stealing from a company owner true that they discovered into a quantum realm that is a whole universe the second one he fought a transparent ghost like the level of what ant-man <laughs> fights Mm -hmm. is on a higher plane. Now, this dude is in an entirely different universe and fought one of the big <clears throat> bads and stuff like that. Of course, he couldn't beat him by himself. You needed an entire fucking whole army and stuff and the ant stuff. But like how, how you know, CT said, a lot of this stuff was set up a little too inconveniently. And some of the stuff that they have used in there, like nanotech is being used a little too much because I'm like, I don't need I don't need Ant-Man to have a nano suit. I don't need right. that shit. Like that, that was not very necessary. Very convenient. Like, yeah. think about it. If you zoom in on anything, any item in your face right now, like how that that go inside your computer, like millions of miles of inside of your computer, and all of a sudden, that's where Scott is at, and 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 uh, the Van Dykes are are somewhere totally different. How do they find each other? It's it's billions of miles away from each other. There's no map around here. So so when they like it's like we gotta find you know where, where my where my daughter's at and I was like there's no way you're gonna find these people hey, so but I will, before I will, go ahead I was gonna say I will say this one thing that made me understand this even more and people gonna hate this that's the same stuff Star Wars do all the time <laughs> that is true and y'all just love that and get away with it like oh my god it's so masterpeaceful yeah. i know that ain't a word yeah. but Thanks so i'm know. like if, if they if they could get away with it i'm like hey you know what yeah i will believe that Ant -Man never get away how did they get back to the world um they called the signal remember the signal that sent them in that's what they did to get them out so it, it was totally intact it got sucked in 
and it's laid there perfectly. <laughs> that was my thing. <laughs> Where the table come back? How y'all get the table back so quick? Cool? <laughs> I didn't get the, the table. Everything got so quick, man. <laughs> but Pete, to answer your question, when uh, when Scott and his daughter were lost and they were millions of miles away, what ended up happening was they got captured by the people. When they got captured, and Hope and her dad and her mom were also somewhere else, her mom was able to hop a ride and then get to a central location. They stole a ship and then they found yeah. where Ant-Man and uh, his daughter had been taken, which was by Kang. So they kind of now had a wayward point to find mm -hmm. him. I understood that. I didn't like how clunky it was and you really had to pay attention for that. Yep. But another thing, when we look at the Ant-Man movies, yes, he's fighting None of his movies have real stakes because even if you look at the first one, he was having this like action packed fight with Darren. And when they zoomed out, it was just toys on a track. <laughs> hey, look, you know what I mean? So it was like, I get it from that aspect. But yet and still, if Ant Man is having this fight with Kang, he should have died. And if they're going to show the timeline being switched, make it a little bit more pronounced. But beyond that, this is what I'm getting tired of. I'm tired of the sidekicks, bro. I'm tired of the superhero families being um, expounded upon. Like, it was fine with characters that we knew, like uh, like Iron Man War Machine. Cool. Iron Man's dead. War Machine should step up. But when we're doing the whole, and it even got tiresome in Iron Man, because you got Iron Man being Iron Man, War Machine being Iron Man. Now Pepper is being Iron mm -hmm. Man. And then you move on to Captain America. Captain America got Bucky, and Captain America got Bucky, and he got Falcon. Now Falcon is when it, like, it becomes, I'm tired of seeing them focus more on building up sidekicks before yep. they build up other number one heroes, i.e., X Men, i.e., the Nova Corps, i.e., um, the uh, Fantastic Four. Like, it needs to happen sooner and it needs to happen now because people are losing interest in these movies because you're watering them down, introducing more and more sidekicks. Like, Ant Man's daughter, I'm like, yes, okay, we get it. She's cute. She's older now. She wants to hang around her dad. But now, what are they going to send her instead of him? Huh? Very, very unnecessary for the movie. Um, yeah. One one of the bad parts I will say about the movie was like no disrespect fully to the actress, but I gotta say it like she did not fit into this movie. Um, she didn't feel like a lang. Like it was just like yo, like and then I, to your point, like how you said, CT. This made us understand like all of them don't need to inherit the legacy. No, um, like she didn't need to be there. Like I didn't mind the aspect of her being like a fighter for you know like mm -hmm. how she what she got arrested for. That would have been cool, especially with everything she's been through with the blip, all this stuff. I'm like, yo, that would have been great because you make us see a different aspect of what's going on in the world and how she's choosing to be a hero. But you yeah. telling me she got a whole suit and you didn't even use her name. Like she nah, doesn't even have a name in here and, name. and stuff. Like for us to I, see that, and the fact that now she knows how to grow big too. She could do yeah, small stuff. First like, time. Yeah, yeah, it's like who it just like kind of took away from Ant Man stuff, and it's just like, oh yeah, like you know, well she's still sleepy, and that's why she's passing out and stuff like that because of growing so big. But it's like, who taught her that? Who taught that, her that? And what 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 can you do now differently? The thing I do love about War Machine is War Machine has a different suit than Tony. He got the he got <laughs> everything bigger because he's military. Yeah. You look at Falcon, he's different than Captain America because he can fly, and now that he's Captain America, he's still held onto his wings. But he got the metal the arm either, right? Huh? No, he doesn't yeah. have a super soldier serum, so he can't heal fast. He's a regular man. Now with uh even with Wasp. She can grow, I mean, she can go smaller, but she can also fly. She's never gotten big. I like yep. that they stay true to that. And so she got what, phasers. And she got the phasers. What can the daughter do besides everything that Scott can do? Well, they haven't given the, her anything separate. Huh? The, kill him the, off. <laughs> kill him off. In the comic, and this is why I kind of go to like investing so much in the sidekicks. I feel like they for the sidekicks. They're skipping all the character development from the main characters because right. in the comics she does have that ability. Like it, but it takes a while for her to learn it, you know. And they just jump past it. And now the big thing that I, that I'm I'm kind of fearful of is that I have no interest in the Young Avengers. Right. Like, 
I was excited at first at the thought of it, but all the characters that they introduced me to, these sidekicks, I'm just like, I don't want to see this yeah. Avengers team. I'm, I really don't. Like, not yet. I think, yeah, you're right. I, and I think where it really dropped the ball is going back to Captain America and the Winter Soldier because once they showed Patriot, I was like, yeah, he can't carry this. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I, this is this is not my Patriot. If you think about it, the whole phase four was all developing new Avengers. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's and only, crazy. And all the only one, and the only one that really and, and and this still is not saying a lot that even has some kind of clout to where you want to kind of see him is Miss Marvel. And once again, that's still not saying a lot. Right. And also, I, I would throw in Yelena, depending on if they make her take up the Black Widow mantle, because I do like that. I like Yelena. I like her a lot to the point where at when, when they chose to kill off Black Widow, I was upset. And I'm like, there's no way they're going to do it. And then when they introduced Yelena, I said, if I, she takes up, t- takes up the mantle, I'm okay with it. We got to see what she does in Thunderbolts. If I can okay. see, if I can see her break out of that entire group to show like, oh, okay, while we still behind you as Black Widow, then I can see that. But for right so now, what, she, when does it come out? Uh, next year, apparently, right? Thunderbolts. I, I believe so. Yeah, it's scheduled Is it a for next series year. or a movie. Movie. Oh, that's a movie. They should have did that as a series. That poster looked very TV ish. <laughs> well, it, it's not an official. It, wait, do they have official poster out? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember, when they, remember, we was talking about how underwhelming it was when they revealed it. July, no, 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 I think that's just concept art. That's just concept art. Oh, well, July 26, 2024. No, it's not. This is what they showed. Well, they showed they to showed the world it at the release. Feige showed it when they when he introduced them. Yeah, that's not the official movie poster, though. That's just the concept art of them dropping it. That's not they the don't film. drop concept art when they're showing it to the world. Look they at drop you, concept. Look at them. That's, that's my point. That's my point. <laughs> oh God, I hope that. Oh my God, because that's yo exactly. No, yo, no, y'all, no, come on, yeah, for real. That's what it is. That's the poster for <laughs> Thunderbolts. Bro, that's concept art that we turn in. No, it's you... not. That is what Feige shows when he's advertising <laughs> this bullshit. It should have been a TV show. <laughs> now I got to get out of here, but it's always a pleasure. Yeah, hey, C- C- thank you for coming through, bro. We My man, keep this thing rock. Yeah, so man. yeah, that's like that that art, and like I said, Yelena, because she has the, the. I think the reason why I liked her so much when they introduced her as a counterpart to Black Widow is the like they made her her own style of character, right? Like she's more comical than uh black widow um she has the same type of you know skill set so we know that she can fight and everything like that but like she's a little bit more um brass right you know so it's like you're able to distinctively separate them kind of like how we see like i said with iron man and war machine and captain america and falcon with everybody else and all the other sidekicks that we've been getting now they're looking more like okay you're just a younger version of the main character, but you're not giving me anything besides you're a rebellious teenager. And I'm like that. I don't need every character to be yeah, a rebellious I mean, teenager. I mean, but that's what. You, but that again, too, that's still what Yelena's giving. So you know what I I'm saying? Like, I not and if you if you think about it, like this is a person who's never been free, and now she's free, and she still kind of gets into the stuff that she knows. So it's just like, yo, I'm going to be this rebellious person where I do what I want to do, but you still fall in the old habits of being controlled. And so it's just like, yo, there's still not a lot of like, like even too, like you're mad about going after Clint Barton. You're still under control. Yeah. Someone told you that you don't even know that that's true. Right. And you just went off of that to go fight something. You're still a rebellious team that doesn't think straight. And so that's why I'm just like, I need to see like her in Thunderbolts for okay. me to be able to see something step up for her to be one of those that can also help take away to, to help the young Avengers be more taken serious when it comes out. Because right now it's I hate to say it like this, but right now it's all like a comedy. Like you got you got her. She's witty, but she's funny. And oh, yeah. and I know she could kill people. But again, too, it's just like I can see her closing up when something bad comes. Um, Hawk, the new Hawkeye, funny, but like when the big stakes are high, can she get the job done? I'm not seeing that. She Hulk don't even want to really be She Hulk, and it's hilarious. Yeah, right. And then you have Moon Knight if he decides to join. Moon Knight don't know what the hell he want to do. 
Yeah. So we don't yeah. even know how reliable he's going to be. Is we it don't... Trinity, the Thor's daughter? Yeah, Trinity, oh, or love and stuff like that. Love, that's what yeah. she's called. Like, we and don't she know. She has no personality right now. I and didn't we... give us nothing for love. And we don't know if she's good or evil. We just know she's rolling with Thor. That's it. Yeah. So we don't really have a prayer. And then we don't know anything about Patriot. And we don't even know if Patriot's going to be included in the Thunderbolts. We don't know if he's about to be in Captain America New World Order. So it's just like these young Avengers haven't really, the only one you can really see is Sean Chi. And then Sean Chi is still very inexperienced because yeah. you still, there's no way you can put a intergalactic situation on his shoulders. You, yeah. you know what they should have did? And Diamond, yeah, I, I saw you about to speak, so I'll let you talk next real quick. But what they should have did, so knowing that the Avengers, just like Justice League, has so many different variations, and I get it, they want to get to the young Avengers, but I feel yeah. like if you were going to dis, dismantle the current avengers that we've seen then you need to introduce the other big dogs that be in avengers like wolverine was an avenger you know the fan uh mr fantastic and the fantastic four fantastic four they were avengers like you can introduce that different version of the avengers and we would still be excited for it but you're introducing us to these young characters again yeah. that nobody is connecting with i have not heard one person say like hey you know who my favorite character is Cassie Lang in this motherfucker. Like, I can't wait to see. Like, nobody is excited yeah. for any of these new characters right now, and that sucks. Which, which oh, go ahead, my bad. Yeah, you did. I, I, I think, I think it would be dope. I don't know if they can do this or not. It would be dope if all. I don't know if this could be a thing. It's probably already a comic book. If all the original Avengers got brainwashed into being evil, and then all the younger ones. Had to fight their the protege. Oh yeah, they they've done that in multiple yeah. times and right. yeah. oh, and, and, and DCs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that'd be dope. And then they lose, and now they have to kind of go and get the Fantastic Four and X Men for help. You know what I'm saying? That'd be a nice little way to kind of like bring them in. Yeah, I don't um, know. Well, no, I mean another piece I see is the multiversal Avengers. Yeah. So that's the way I see it of like now, especially like with the Kang dynasty and then you have secret wars coming. It's like, you're gonna have to pull from different, you're gonna have to pull from different stuff. Like you're gonna have to pull from different different multiverses, different universes. Cause like, you know, even to the only one that we even think now, but then they kind of like shot a hole in that was Spider-Man being a part of the Avengers, but no one knows who he is now. Yeah. So it's, it's just Spider-Man. So it's just yeah. like, okay, like, and we already have confirmed that they're getting a fourth Spider-Man. So it's just like, but Didn't they how, start production? Didn't they just announce No, that? no, no, no. It just, it just confirmed. They have they have a script written. Oh, okay. Like okay. I knew they announced this. something recently. It's yeah. an easy fix, though. It's an easy fix. He can join. It, it, he's like, hey, I'm I'm Peter Parker. <laughs> but they ain't going to know the history. They're just going to be like, oh, shit, Peter Parker, the yeah. kid from yeah. Justin like the, all the history is when he is helped it. out his body helped out with with uh with Thanos. True. You know, True. so they, they he definitely they said he's remember him helping out, but they don't know his, his identity. Well, no, we gotta see so no, but see, that's the thing too that we also gotta remember is that was Iron Man's protege. Yep. And so you gotta remember with all of that gone, he knew Peter Parker. So then that means all of that stuff that happened doesn't count. No yeah, one knows who that is. Yeah, for the most part, it's more so Iron Man's ca his cast. Them the ones that really are really impacted by not knowing Peter because Happy, mm -hmm. you know, all of them like they had interactions with Peter outside of just Spider Man because of Tony. Um, maybe Captain America because he had those moments of oh you from Brooklyn I'm from Queens and stuff like that. And he had a mask on though. True. Yeah, yeah. True. So they know. So they know that stuff. But then too, like. Peter knows inner workings of mm -hmm. that company mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So just like him, like running into Pepper when they got to talk and it's like, dang, I've had a conversation with you or seeing happy again. Cause we don't know what happy's doing right now. Yeah. And so, but just running into him and everything, but then two also coming across with like daredevil, like yeah. daredevil is in his city and stuff like that. I don't see no reason why they wouldn't make them collab. But again, he doesn't remember that he represented him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so like, like it could be an easy fix though, like how Dion said to that. Like, not to yeah. say it's like a huge big deal. So there's a theory floating around. I wanted to get you guys' take on it. One of the theories is that 
the reason why the movie ended the way it ended was this was really Kang's plan that, that he's not dead. He wants the council to think that he's dead, so that way Kang the Conqueror, that one, he can he can truly prep in the outside world now for the uh for the uh secret world. No, we're not the secret world, the um what's the other war coming? The other oh, event. Kang Dynasty. Yeah, no, the, the one after that. Secret War. Yeah, Secret War. So that way he can truly do Secret World or uh, Secret War. Because they were saying that right now, if you looked at kind of do what CT said, if you look at his army and how he prepped and planned in that quantum realm, he wasn't ready for the war to go against his variants. But obviously the variants fear him. So that's why they exiled him to the quantum realm. So for him to be in a place where the world, where the other kings, he don't care about other people. It's the kings he, he care about. If the other kings think he is dead and he's truly trying to still take over and be the conqueror, they're saying that that moment, yes, he got sucked into with the uh, with the the core, but that he's not really dead. He's really going to come out more stronger. He's sucked into another realm. He's going to come out more stronger with the powers where he doesn't need to use the um the chair to, to travel across dimensions now where he can do it on his own and that's going to be the real conqueror prepping for that secret oh war. so what you say so what you're saying is that that may be king that may turn him into king prime yeah okay because like the way i even saw it too was like that's why i was saying like there's a lot of stuff that was put in there that it's like it doesn't have to be us like going like, oh, that's how this should happen. It's like, no, based off of what you even put in the movie, that's why this can make sense. Because even like his orb, his orb is basically a map. And like yeah. how they just, how, how you just said, so like it has all those destinations that he's been to. And yeah, so and like he, how you said. And, and it imploded with with him and it. And you got to think so, about it. But I'm saying, so yeah, so the chip, but the chair is what, the orb is what opens that to send him there. The chair is what protects him. So like yep. how you said, he just went in there without his protection. Without his protection. And then, you know, you think about like, and this is just what I, anytime comic book or like geek properties, my, my theory is if you don't see the body, they are not dead. Yeah, so yeah. though though the Council right. of Kings said he's dead, we didn't see the body. We didn't see, we just saw him get sucked in and yelled. I do, I, that's why I said I don't believe that he's dead. Yeah, and those, and those kings are very arrogant too. So we oh, also yeah. got to remember yeah. that as well. So so this is what I wanted. Now now I'm hearing y'all. This will be dope. This will be a nice little third act for Ant Man, Quantum Mania. Imagine if Kane got out, Ant Man joined him. They he entered into a place that it was a something that was in phase two. Like you see him fighting, you see somebody in the background, like you see Captain America, like a different angle of a Captain America. He pulled him back into quantum medium. And they keep coming in different parts of like do you the future past? They're fighting. Oh, he, like how, how Dr. Strange then was falling through the different verses and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it, it, but it's imagine, a fight. Imagine if they were fighting, Kane got out and he was where uh they were Ooh, fighting okay. um crossbones. He was fighting mm -hmm. crossbones when they blew up. And you yeah. see him fighting in the background. He suck him back into the quantum, and they come back. You see Red Skull. You see him fighting them out. And yep. they, they keep fighting. They're like, that, you see Thanos. You say you be like, oh shit, they're going all over the place. Yeah. They're fighting to go in and out of the quantum, and that that'll be a nice treat for everybody. Like, yo, they really fighting in and That's, out of the future timeline. Here, but here's the thing: Do you want to see Ant Man do that? I mean. <laughs> That, that that that's what I'm saying. Like what you said, yeah, you was get, very you was dog. very dope. Yeah, I would not yeah, want right, to see Ant right, do right because he he ain't got it. So here's okay. So I'm gonna expand on the theory that I just told you guys. So Kang, the the Council of Kang, Kang. Obviously, the one thing that they trust in and believe in is that more Kangs is needed in order to win. Like like no matter what, like we only fight against each other, right? So. Yeah. This came the conqueror. We saw this faceless army, right? Of all of these robots that was that anybody truly like can beat. But in this movie, we also saw this random world where, though it was only visions, you 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 multiplied and saw multiple multipliers of yourself. What if 
Kang the Conqueror is in there, and instead of building a faceless army, he builds more of himself, like the different variants of himself again, but they're all based off of that one. So it's not really that different. And so now when the Secret Wars come, his trump card is I have another set of Kangs that I just duplicated in this world that I can only control. They're not going to listen to y'all. They're going to listen to me, and this is my army now. Because you sent me in this world, and I've been stuck in here all this time building, and I created all these other kings to help.